Hi everyone. Today I'm in the center of San Miguel Allende. I'll take a tour around the city and show you some of the highlights. Let's start with the church in the center of the city. Isn't it a beauty? It's known as the Parroquia de San Miguel Archangel. Construction of the church began in the 17th century and continues for over a century. It was built as a parish church at the local community. One of the most distinctive features about the church is the towering facade topped by four large spires or pinnacles. These spires rise majestically above the city skyline and are visible from many vantage points. According to the local legend, the architect responsible for the church's design had never seen a European church in person. Instead, he drew his inspiration from postcards and images of Gothic cathedrals. All right, let's go on to the next location. The Casa de Maya Zago de la Canal dates from the 18th century. During the late colonial period, this house was the most important secular building, being home of the de la Canal family, one of the wealthiest in Mexico. Today, it houses the Casa de Cultura de Benamex, which houses a collection of historical paintings and offers diverse expositions during the year. Have you ever been to this location and taken a photo with no people in it? I'll explain how I did it at the end of the video. Ready to go to the next location? Let's go up to the overlook point above the city. From here you can see a long way. Each day around 7 a.m. there would be balloons all over the city. It's quite a view to watch them take off in the mornings. You have to sign up a few days in advance, so check the internet sites for availability. I'll leave the link in the notes below. It's such a great view up here. In this video, we saw three great images. Two of them were in busy locations with no people. I promise I'd tell you how I accomplished this. It's a technique called long exposure. It was a one minute exposure using an ND filter. Here's an example of the ND filter that I use. It's a four inch square piece of glass that limits the amount of light that can come into the camera. I'll leave the link for this in the more section below the video. Next time you're in San Miguel, bring your tripod and give it a try. Click the subscription button for more historical photo journeys. See you next time.